Alright campers, uh, now what we're going to look at is drawing some survey layout of a lot. And the first thing I want to show you is I got some setup. Uh, I made two different models. I've got a design model uh, to draw in and I've got a sheet model to print in already. And that is in ANSI A size, 8.5 by 11. So we'll be able to set that up later. I've also established a number of levels. Uh, working level, a level to draw the building on, boundary, which is what I'm going to start with, uh, level for the roadway, and then of course the default. And you'll notice that I've assigned each one of these a different color. So if you just pick there, like I assigned that one red number three. Uh, I noticed a lot of you are doing that now, and I just wanted to show you how to really make that work. Uh, notice in the boundary one that I also picked uh, a border style of line okay so you set that stuff here and then when you draw it'll it'll apply it as long as you set one more thing and that is to uh, pick this by level in the color and the same thing with the line type by level and the line weight by level okay so I'm all set by level so whatever I draw like if I pick boundary and pick smart line it will draw in that line style if I pick building it draws in that line style and so forth I also need to let's see I'll undo those and I'll show you that I went to settings design file working units I set to feet and feet and the other one to look at is angle readout which I'll set to bearing instead of azimuth and then set the accuracy of that to three decimal places as well so they should be both three decimal places yeah angle readout three decimal places bearing good now we're ready to start drawing so let's make sure I'm in the right level I'm going to draw the boundary of the lot first so smart line left click and what I really want here is the polar coordinate. So I hit the space bar. You notice it changes to a circle and that the accurate draw changes to distance and angle. And what I'm going to do then is type in the distance 102.374 feet. Now this is like if you went out and surveyed the lot and you went around with, a, with your total station. Well maybe not a total station since you would have dumped it in but uh, and you took these these data points as you went around and this is at I hit the tab key north and I'm just going to use the arrow key on my keyboard to edit the angle in here north 12 12 point 370 west 70 and I'm going to have to make that a W for west Okay, and I left click. So that gives me one one point. I'll shift and scroll up a little bit here. I think the next one goes northeast, so in that general neighborhood. Now you'll notice that the the uh, polar coordinate readout is aligned with the first line I drew. Now what you're going to want to do is hit the B key, and then it'll straighten back out to its to its original planes. All right. So I hit the tab key back to the distance, and the next distance is 87.967. I hit the tab key, northeast, arrow keys back to the angle, and then that is 75.559. And then I left click again. I hit the B key once again, and keep going around. The next distance is, I have to do the distance first for some reason. 93.731 feet at an angle of southeast. So I'm about in the right angle here. Southeast uh, 26.982. I left click again. B key. You got to remember to hit the B key each time around. That's just the way these things work. 
and then uh, the next one is southwest so I'm gonna go in the right direction you see I kind of put my cursor in that orientation to get you going the right way distance of 74.329 tab key southwest arrow key in uh, 49.628 left click and then my last point should be 5011 away and it is at south 38.420 yep northwest oh see what the problem is I'm looking at it I should have hit the B key there it is 50.111 north 78 degrees 0.792 west I left click and I'm there. So note that uh, that last distance, 78.792, that could come out to be 793 or 794. It's going to be close, but you want to make sure you hit that last point uh, so that it closes the shape. Okay. Now I suppose what we should do is label these. Let's see, I've got a style I called points. I'm going to call the first one B1, label that right there, and then I'm going to use this copy increment text to go around and do the other one. I'll do a fit view here. So if I start with that one, and then I click right up in here, move out of the way a little bit. Right there, there's B2, B3, I'm just left clicking my way around, and it increments the number as I go around. It's kind of a handy little trick, isn't it? So then I should be able to measure the area of this with the tool here for measuring area. So what's my lot area here? I've got an element mode. I left click and it is 11,193 square feet. Okay, good so far. Now what if that doesn't work? couple different ways you can do it. You can do it by points. I could click my way around the whole thing. Measure my area that way. You see how to do that. The other possibility is that it's not a closed element. Now I can make it an unclosed element pretty quick here by uh, oh, where's the tool right there? Dropping it. And we're going to drop to multi lines. So if I just left click, now it's taken it apart. You can see it they're all individual line segments. And I wouldn't be able to uh, to re to measure it as an element. But you can put it of course back together too. If I can get my mouse to work today. Hello, there it is. Create complex shape to put it all back together again. Remember how to do this? Where did my complex shape go? In case you mess up one of the points and you want to put it all back together, that's how to do it. Now I'm going to draw in the roadway, which happens to be on this uh, western side of the lot. Let's uh, switch to the roadway level, smart line. I'm going to draw a line here. I happen to know that it's parallel to the front of the lot. So I'm just going to put that line there and then use a tool called Move Parallel. And in this case, I won't keep original. I'm going to move it out uh, 20 feet. Left click, so there's the one edge of my road. Use Keep Original and make a copy of it. And go out of a 12 foot lane, and another 12 foot lane. So there's my roadway. I could use Change Element Attributes to change the line style to a dashed. That would be good. 
And so there's my road. 